Here is the secret tip uh, for any job. Now, if you're rich and you don't have to work or whatever, fine, go, go look away. But if you have to work, here is the secret tip. Um, because this came out of people were asking me how come I got to write for J.J. Uh, Abrams and Gabe Newell a talk, and then they, they're still talking about it today. Um, and so, you know, oh, my God, you must have just gone, no, 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 here's the tip, here's the tip, here's the secret. Show up. Solve problems, do the work. Just show up. Just show up is the first thing, right? So I showed up one morning, and someone's like, hey, I got a problem. I'm like, what's the problem? They're like, well, we got to make this video for Gabe for getting this Lifetime Achievement Award. Um, can you help out? I'm like, I don't know how to do that. And they're like, well, can you, like, write some questions, and we'll we're gonna interview some people and put it in there. I'm like, yeah, I could do that. I don't know. I'll figure some stuff out, right? And I know enough about when interviewing people, you leave it open-ended to so let them, because they'll come up with better stuff than you, and you could steal it and take credit for it. Ah, uh, so I'm doing that, but I'm like, okay, but if I'm going to do this, I'm going to do a good job at this. I'm going to care about what I'm doing and I'm going to go, Hey, he knows JJ from the, from the orange box thing. We should go ask JJ if he wants to be part of this. And then JJ people are like, well, Hey, we've got to give this talk there and we don't want to write this talk. Gabe has to give a talk. Does he want to write a talk? I'm like, yeah, he's got his own little talk, but he'll do a talk with you. I'll go, I'll go clear this up. And then me and David Baranoff over at uh, Bad Robot, who ran um, the, their game division for a while, uh, wrote it, right? But, like, I cared enough to do a good job about it. I showed up, I solved the problems, and I cared enough to do a good job about it. Now, this has always been me, and you don't have to be this crazy about it, right? Like, this is kind of why I'm back to owning my own company and doing my own thing, because this is me. Like, I, I did this in the 90s as well, because... In the early 90s, I'm working for a horrible data processing company. They're paying me six bucks an hour. Six bucks an hour. But I just moved back from New Orleans. I couldn't find a job. It's a bad economy, whatever. Six bucks an hour. And uh, there's KeyBank. They become, they're becoming KeyBank. They're changing from whatever they were to KeyBank. And all of their trust funds and everything need to be contacted by the people who run the, their trusts and say they're doing the name change. So it's a big legal thing, but yet you got to rank who gets to be the last person in the letter because of who their relationship is. And it's complicated. We create this crazy system to deal with it. And then it needs to get printed off and it's not going to be printed off in time. And there's like a legal requirement. It's got to be done like Thursday and it's Tuesday. And it is not going to get done. So I just stay there. I stay there for two days and print everything and get it done. And I go over at 7 a.m. that morning and drop it off at the VP's office all the paperwork. Now, I would later run into her uh, when I worked for a nonprofit and stuff, and, like, it paid off there, and I got a whole $9 an hour because it was overtime, but I still am like, this is my job. I care about what I do, and I care about the quality. Now, I know, I know there's a whole vibe these days of, like, the lazy worker, don't show up, don't do your job, don't work those jobs. Like, all right, this is a crap job I didn't like, but I did like the people I worked with and I cared about the thing. And I really liked this woman who was the VP. She was always super nice to me and super gracious. And so I'm like, I'm not going to let you down. I told her I wouldn't let her down and I didn't. Right. But those are the people people want to work with. You're going to do cool jobs because somebody knows, hey, if I throw this problem at them, they're going to solve it. They're going to let me go travel the world doing things for Valve because they know, hey, we can put him in a problem spot and he will just solve it. I remember the first time I had to go do that. Um... Scott came over to me and he's like, remember, your, your Valve credit card, sometimes just throw money at the problem. He's like, just solve the problem. We'll worry about the cost of it later, which is saying like, hey, you're free. Just we want you to do this thing. Right. And it's promotion and stuff back then and stuff. But so I always just solve the problem. I mean, at one time at doing a show for Left 4 Dead, some idiot guy brought like 386s as the computer that we were supposed to use. And it's like midnight in Warwick, England. And he's like, well, let's go to the pub and give it a good show. I'm like, no, no, we're going to solve this problem. This is the problem we're going to solve. I got computers that night uh, from a from a professional team. They're their backup computers. I got him to go out and get more keyboards. Like, solve the problem. Be the person who solves the problem. More than anything at your job. Anything. You show up so you're there. And then someone's like, I got a problem. I'm like, I got it. I mean, my original thing at Valve was I solved the problem of we didn't have a QA team and we're going into the orange box. And so me and uh, Animator were like, man, nobody, nobody's ever looked at this stuff. We should look at this stuff and figure this out. And then we just organized play tests. Who, who told us to do that? Nobody. But we cared about what we were doing and we showed up and we solved the problem. I'm telling you. Like, the minute my company here slowed down, people reached out and were like, hey, do you, you want to come work here? Do you want to come work with us? 
Because it's like, I solve problems. You may think it's because of the writing, but no, they, they got a problem, I'll solve it. Like, I'll help, right? And that's, kind of, that's why I talk often to devs. I talk into an indie dev on Friday and talk with somebody else about their story in the background now. Like, I that's my fun. That's what I like to do. So maybe it's not you. But if you're working at a job you like and you show up, you'd be surprised how far that gets you.